Messenger to go get accounting and bookkeeping clients. Now, when I say Messenger, this is not a social media specific video, right? This can be used on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, um, any kind of like little budding social media platform. They're generally going to have some sort of messenger inbox where you can actually go and talk to your potential clients about them wanting to work with you. So this is going to help you be able to navigate those, to be able to go get clients on those platforms, whatever platform you might choose. Now, for me personally, messaging has led to me collecting over $2 million in the last five years alone. That's across both businesses. Now, also in the next five years, probably going to help me get another $2.5 million. And at that point, at the end of that five years, I'll probably be out of this game I'll just be retired. You know what I mean? So... It's one of the most solid skill sets that you can learn. Now, it is a very boring skill set, right? Because it's like, it's so simple. Most people like having a lot of complexity, which is why most people struggle. Now, while I'm still here, while I'm still helping you guys with like our mentorship programs, everything that we teach in our mentorship program is something that we have maybe talked about in one of these YouTube videos, meaning that I only talk on this channel about stuff that I know. So if any of this stuff interests you and you feel like if you had someone that can guide you along the hand and basically take you by the hand and guide you towards your goals, if you think that would have some value to yourself, go ahead and click the link inside the description, um, either above or below the video, to book a call with myself to see if I can help you inside of our training program, okay? Um, I'd love to see if I can help you. I'd love to see if I can take you to your goals. So, okay, inside of this thing, three main movers, two micro bridge steps. So... This was actually inspired by one of the students in our program the other day because we give you guys like messenger scripts, but even within the messenger script, if you don't know why you're doing something, it's very hard to actually make it work for yourself on, well, it's not that it's hard to make it work, it's just hard to stick to the process. Oftentimes what happens, like people will take like either a script or just something they know, but they don't know why they're doing it. They just kind of abandon it and they kind of like get nervous, right? So I'm basically going to explain the different aspects and like where you are inside of your journey at all times. Now, inside of our program, we do give you the script. If you're watching this on, like on our YouTube channel, uh, I'm not going to give you the script in today's video because you got to join the program for that. So what is R? R stands for reply. So one of the biggest challenges I see people do when they're doing like any kind of messenger is that they go and pitch their service way too fast. So on LinkedIn, for example, you can kind of send a message whenever you're, um, it, it's basically a connection request message. It basically tells them like, why should they accept your connection request? Now, most people, what they're gonna do is say, hey, I'm a bookkeeper or, I, or I'm an accountant. Um, do you want my services? Now, the reason why it's a bad thing to do and like pitch your services too early is because they aren't going to accept that. You're probably gonna have like maybe like 5% of people accept that, which is a very, very small amount. On average, you should be expecting about 25 to 30% of people you send a connection request to should accept that connection request. Now, the reason why it's important is because if you're only getting 5%, this is 25% less effective, right? That, mean, that means you have, you're, you're, you're really lowering the percentages uh, and the chances of you actually being able to get someone to say yes to you, okay? The first step should always be to get people to accept your connection request. The reason why is because like once you've built up a, once you have built up a kind of critical mass of people. So we'll say like let's say there's like a thousand people have accepted your connection request over X Y Z time period. You can keep going back through that same thousand people until their situation has changed to where they will want your service. That's how like some of our students, like some of our, our, our most established students, every single year on major holidays, they just go back through their list and then they get two to three new clients every single time they do that, every major holiday, right? But if they were doing it where it's like, hey, either yes or no right away, and then they have like 5% of the people, that would give them, they wouldn't have enough volume to keep going back through these people. So first step, make sure they just reply to you and just make sure like they accept it. It's very, very simple to say, hey, this is my name. I saw your profile. This is what I do. It would be great to connect if you're open to it. That's the that's an easy opening message. Or, hey, name, I saw your profile. It would be great to connect. It's just something simple. Just something simple. Right? You want 25 to 30% of people to accept it. So now once they've accepted it, you just want to reply. Now, again, people at this stage, after someone's accepted a connection request, a lot of people are just going to say, hey, buy my stuff. And again, it's not that saying buy your stuff is bad. It's just in any given market, 3% of the people inside that market are ready to buy today. That means 97% of people are not quite ready to buy today. So in your pursuit of those 3%, if you irritate the other, we'll say, oh, 
If you irritate the other like 95%, okay, well, you're not going to be able to actually like have a really good, um, like we talked about, at the major holidays, you're not really going to have enough volume to keep going back to because you've irritated people. So it's like, you have to kind of learn how to leave a little bit of money on the table at all times. Okay, so we're, we're never going to fully maximize the amount of money and value that is inside of our list. If you burn out the list by trying to find the 3% of people that are ready today and the other ones you just kind of irritate because they don't like being directly pitched because it feels like spam, you know, you're, you're, you're losing a lot of money. You're burning a lot of money versus if you learn how to build relationships, there might be some people that are ready to buy today and you're going to get those people that are going to buy today. But you're also going to have a relationship so that people that are not quite ready to buy today will buy for you tomorrow. So we're creating money for today and money for tomorrow so that you never really have to worry about money again, right? But it all comes from just like learning how to think relationship style versus thinking about direct pitching style. And I had one guy, he commented one time, he's like, yeah, but some people like direct. Again, it's not that direct stuff doesn't work. It's just, I'm trying to give you the most effective way to form a net around your prospects that cause them to want to work with you. So first thing is reply. It could be anything. It could be something you read on their profile. It could be something that, like, you could say good morning. It could be thanks for accepting my connection request. It could be how long you've been in business. Like, it doesn't really matter. Just get them to reply something, okay? Step number two is going to be problem or pain. So one thing we want to do whenever we're pitching a service, we don't want it to come across as spam. The way that you stop something from coming across as spam is by making it relevant to the person who you are speaking to. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so if, let's say that someone's favorite color is green. I'm not going to say, hey, do you want to buy a red car? Because I just go to 100 people and say, hey, buy this red car. For the people that like blue or like yellow or like green, it's going to come across as spam. But if I know someone's favorite car is green, is the color is green and they look for a car, I'm going to say, hey, do you want to buy this green car? Because it's going to drastically increase the likelihood that the person will see that what I'm offering is valuable, it's something they like, and it's something they want to move forward with. Okay, that's, that's the only reason why I'm trying to get someone's pain and their problems, right? Also, if someone tells you their pains, they are going to go, right? So there's a couple of rules. If they reply, they will buy. If they tell you their pain, that means they trust you enough to actually move forward, right? If they if you get the pain, you'll make it right. It's just very, very simple. Now, this one is very interesting because I do not want a problem around marketing. I don't want to be like, hey, we're trying, I, I don't know how to grow my business, right? Because in order for someone to pay you a good amount of money, they need to have the marketing and sales aspect down. What we need to have a pain and problem around is not being organized because they're growing so fast they can't stay organized. Or maybe they have bad records. Or maybe their, their inventory is messed up, right? We're looking for a problem that is a result of figuring out how to grow their business, if that makes sense, right? So you always want to find a problem that's relevant to what you can solve. It's not to, like, like, for example, you don't, let, let's say that you're offering, um, we'll say accounting services. I don't really want to talk about the problem someone has with like, maybe like, like they have an anxiety. It's like, okay, that's cool. And like, once we're, once we're friends or once we're working together, maybe we can talk about that. But I don't want to have a five hour long conversation about anxiety, unless, unless you also have anxiety, something you can relate to. Right, I only want to talk about problems and pains that are relevant to the service that I am offering. We were, there was a guy in our program last week, and he was like, he had this. Kind of, it was like he's he's really new to doing messaging. So within the script, he asked a question, but he asked it slightly incorrectly, and like the person just went on this like tangent. It was like they just find these long paragraphs, and it was it was so long, but it was just about like personal things. And like he just like he ended up having to like leave the conversation without even like moving forward because like, I just didn't know what to say after that. I was like, yeah, it's because like the problem that you got was actually turning into more of like a um it was turning more into like 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 you're being a therapist rather than being an advisor. It's slightly different. Okay. I'm actually gonna have the bridge step come up a little bit higher. 
So this bridge step is called transition. So the reason why it's important, like why am I looking for a business problem is because I need to be able to transition into how I can help them solve that problem. Okay, so very simple. Now transition can happen at any stage, right? Transition can happen in the reply towards a problem. Transition can happen towards a, um, a lot of different places. So in this case, what we can do is we can actually move transition up here because a transition can always can be in a lot of different places. Transitions are more of like, how do you take someone from one place to the next place? So transition A could be looking through their profile, wins, uh, company updates, job listings, website events, et cetera, right? I'm trying to talk about that to then get them to say that their business is growing so fast that they can't keep up with it. Because now if your transition is good enough, they will automatically give you the pain or the problem they're having. And then from there, you can transition to basically see how long, oops, oops, how long or how bad? From here, I want to do B or C. That stands for brag or cry. Again, I'm looking for them to either say, like, business is booming just so fast or so far that they literally just can't keep up with it. If I can get that, Okay, then it, it's golden, right? Because most successful business owners are not going to overtly brag just anyway. They just don't want people to know what they have. Like, it's like, it's funny. When when you don't have stuff, you want to flash stuff, right? So it's like, you're like, let, let, it's not for every person, but it's like, so let, let, let's say, for example, you don't have a lot of experience. You kind of want to like tell everybody like the experience you do have or show the credentials you do have because you're trying to bolster yourself up. But as you get more and more experience, the experience kind of talks for itself and you no longer have to kind of talk about your um, your expertise, your experience, nothing. It just kind of talks for itself. Same thing with like money. Like a lot of these people that have a lot of money, they're very successful businesses. They don't have anything to prove to anybody. And actually, in fact, they have a lot less to, they have a lot more to lose by letting people know what they have than they have to gain. So they're not going to tell you. So anytime you get someone to really brag about how, how good they're doing or cry about how hard something is, now when you do your transition or how long has that been going on or how bad, it makes it very simple for them to tell you to that degree. Now what we can do here is the I. I stands for invite. Okay, so now I'm going to invite them towards a call to work with me. Now, a couple different things you can do here. You can give some days and times, some days and times, or you can use a calendar link. Uh, days and times, super fast, right? You're going to get like, yes, I can do this time or this time, right? Calendar link is good because you can you can actually have a qualification form there. I prefer not to do the calendar link method just because I I used to have a lot of trouble getting people to like fill out a calendar link. Like I would send them like a Calendly or or um, um, an Acuity link, and then people just wouldn't wouldn't go through it, right? So I had to default to I can do this time and this time. Now what that led to though was a lot of people who weren't really great or ideal fits because if they fill out a form, that means they actually want to be there and they're kind of falling into your frame and like following your process. Also, like you can ask like questions, like most, most calendar forms will like have you do like a, a survey or you can call it an application. Um, you can call it an application if you're trying to like make them feel like you're very exclusive to work with. Or you can just do like a form if you're trying to like be more of like a helpful frame, right? There's there's different types of frames you can use whenever you're like talking to people or having people go through your funnel. You can either come up like you're up here and they're like down here or like here. You could come and they're both on the same level. You can come where you're down here and they're up here. I prefer to at least have us like here. It's either I want to be higher than the person or I want to be on the same level at all times, right? Um, especially like the more the more income that a business owner is doing, the more you want to at least start out being here. Right, because if they kind of see like they're here and you're here, it's very hard to do objection handling, and you're gonna end up just having to kind of defer to whatever they're saying. Which some people like that, I prefer not to. 
um, because you, it kind of leaves you at the mercy of whatever they kind of feel like. So if they don't want to pay you a good amount of money. Okay, well, that's going to lead to them, you know, um, that's going to lead to them not paying you a huge amount of money or kind of treating you like a grunt, right? Versus if you're already on the same page or if you're a little bit higher in this regard, they're going to treat you with a lot better respect when you guys are working together. Um, so it just kind of depends. Um, but yeah, just, just very simple there. You could even do both. You'd even do get, um, give some days and times and then give them a calendar like if those times don't work for you. It all just really depends on you. But like those are like the main steps, right? Because like if you can get someone to reply, they'll buy. If you can get them to have the pain, it'll be right, right? If you can invite, it should only be very, very simple because then now it's very relevant. Okay, this is all about relevant. So then you've also been able to convert some people that wouldn't be on that 90, the 3% of people are ready today. You've probably converted more like 10 to like 20% over time if you can do it like that. So it just, it just makes things so much easier. You need a lot less leads and then you're able to kind of move, okay? Now, if you're in the program, go see like the resources section for the specific script. If you are watched on our YouTube channel, um, you can maybe build your own script. Um, yeah, and then inside of our school community, um, you can actually ask different questions and things like that. So like maybe come to me with like your script and see like, hey, is this a good script? Is this a bad script? Um, depending on, on, you know, how things are going in my day. If I'm super busy, I'm, I'm probably not going to respond right away. But if I'm not super busy, then I can like maybe go and like give you some pointers along the way. Now, if you want some help growing your business, but like maybe it's just not quite going the way that you want or the way that you hoped. Or if you feel that if you knew there's a faster path from someone that's been where you're trying to go, if you think that either of those can have some value to yourself and you feel like, if you either had a proven path or if you had someone that knew what they were doing that could guide you along the way, if you felt that's going to help you out, go ahead and click the link inside of the description, either above or below the video to book a call myself to see if I can help you inside of our mentorship program. Okay. On the call, I'm going to take a look like, where are you right now? And like, what's really stopping you from like your goals, right? And then once we understand that, we're basically going to say, okay, so this is what we're going to do to kind of help you move along. This is the time for thing it's going to take. And this is kind of the results that I think you're going to get. And then if you feel like you want to be a part of it at that moment in time, and we both think it's a mutual fit, we're going to talk about the pricing structure and we'll get you on board right then and there. Then we can move on towards your goals. So if that's something you want to do, go ahead and click the link inside the description, either above or below the video. Book the call. I'd love to see you inside. I'd love to see if I can help you out, okay? I will talk to you soon. I will see you either on the call or I'll see you inside the next video. Take it easy.